finally. <sighs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out here today. I've got bearded Brad out there. I'm putting him to work, pumping up some ghost shit for us. I'm not really putting him to work. He's out there just trying to find some. But we're gonna see if we get on to some more of these big drums that have been cruising around here. So we're gonna see what happens. All right, bait of the day. As usual, always starting out with salted trim, get a little bit of that cut up and ready. And we're gonna start off with a little bit of fish bites, get some salted shrimp on here. 15 pound mono liter, single drop. Starting off with just the one rod. We're gonna see if I can get one of those big drum on this over the bar 10 today. I believe. What's black drum do eat like that someday? Oh yeah, yeah, they'll they'll kind of nibble at it. I bet it's a drum. I think I probably would have ran by now. Yeah. Well, I, I get yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, that was a whole lot of help there for you. <laughs> Here, give me give me your rod. Give me that rod. That'll help you out. There we go. Heck yeah. First drum from the beach. And who knows how long. That's a good start. Heck yeah. Brad got a really nice black drum and they're they're running out pretty far like they were the other day. So I'm gonna walk out here as far as I can in my boots. He's got waders on. He's smart. I'm stupid. I'm gonna get this out a little farther than that other one. That ought to put me out there with those black drum are running today. Alright, gonna gonna walk this over the bar 10 footer out just a little ways get it out there a little bit further hopefully i don't get water in my boots that's kind of why i'm oh whew, i got water in my boots oh man that's gonna be cold got a lot of water in my boots <laughs> my feet are soaked already there we go finally It's been a hot minute. Took long enough. Man. I didn't get a off by using Well, I was. I threw that shrimp off and I was putting it on. This is what sucks about these 15 pound liters on here. <laughs> uh -huh, uh, I gotta let these guys run. I probably should have switched them out a little bit, but come on. Doubled up, all right. I believe we have both got drums on now. It's been a very, very, very slow morning. Not much going on, so this is nice to finally get on a couple fish. You think we're tangled? He's almost straight out in front of me. He's about to, he's going to get my other line here in a second. If he's not already. Yeah, there's, there's a hay fish there. Let's see what's one of Yeah, who knows? Who, who caught this fish? <laughs> yeah, y'all comment down below who actually caught the fish. We'll see what the hook's in it. There we go. That is you. I got the rub. You got that? Yeah. I'm gonna try to pull a glove off real quick, maybe. I'll get it in between him and the water. There we go. All right. There we go. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, that was wild. All right, I'm gonna get untangled here. Yeah. All right, might have, might have done some standing around for about two and a half, three hours. But it finally happened. And well, that's part of fishing in the winter time. It's not always action packed, but this is why you get out here and you, you keep putting in the time and effort. We're gonna get this guy back. All right, now I'm gonna get him set down. And then I, I'm gonna have to get wet. Oh, let me get my gloves off here. Maybe, you know, go the other way if you're gonna swim off already. Oh, good deal. He's gonna make it easy on me. He's gonna swim off on his own quick. Awesome. 
Bit of a mess there. Yeah, it could have been worse. <laughs> I can't get these damn gloves off oh, all this okay. tape on my thumb. Over here hooking Jordan, man. <laughs> There we go. There we go. <laughs> At least it won the finger. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brad is hooked up again. Probably another big drum. I'm actually not going to throw that out right now. I want to see where he's running before I throw another line out. Then we'll go from there. I'm going to figure out where this guy's going before I throw any more lines <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. Last one got his tongue with Yeah. Up. He appears to be going that way, so he probably good. Is, is it under it? Okay. Yeah, that's that's the last thing I wanted to do is get it tangled. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's bigger than the Yeah. That's a solid drum there. Yeah. All right, guys. That was another epic day catching black drum in the surf. Uh, always fun. It, it's, it's hard to beat that. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump into how I do my salsa shrimp. I know you guys that have followed the channel for a while. You've, you've seen my old video of how I did my salsa shrimp, but I've been getting asked a lot lately. And since the channel's grown again, um, more people are viewing my videos. This will kind of get that out to a, a few more people. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in, do a little quick version of how I make my salsa shrimp. There's not a whole lot needed for this. Um, basically what you will need is a flat bottom container of some sort you want a flat bottom that way that liquid can pull down below then you need your fresh dead shrimp or you can use frozen and i'll get into that a little bit and then in this container you're going to use the big thick coarse kosher salt and as a bonus it's been blessed so you've got the lord on your side while you're making these salted shrimp all right first thing you want to do you, you want to peel the shrimp you don't want to have the 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 shell on there and I like to throw it down on a paper towel that gets a lot of a lot of that excess moisture out of there and if you have the the shell on that's going to trap the extra moisture so go ahead peel those shrimp throw them on a piece of paper towel and get some of that extra liquid out of it all right now that we've got our shrimp peeled and patted dry what I do I just pat it I go over D don't don't smash it on there you don't want to be crushing your shrimp before you even get a throw it in the salt but pat it dry and then over here in your flat container what you want that that's maggie singing in the background what you want you want at least a half inch of salt in here because as this fluid comes out of the shrimp you want it to sink down to the bottom and you want those shrimp to sit up above it so they're not sitting in the fluids and there goes maggie running around through there she's wild she keeps me busy while i'm trying to do other stuff but I will start getting the shrimp put in to the salt now. All right, I'd probably have roughly a, a pound of shrimp in there. But now that I've got that la laid out, um, I go on ahead and here I've, I've got another container full of salt. And I'll, I'll put another probably minimum half inch layer of salt on there. And I just smooth that out over the top of them. And then after I get this part done, I will take this uncovered i don't i don't put any type of lid on top of this then i'll take that and i will put that in the refrigerator because the fridge will help also dry out fridges suck out that extra moisture all right guys after you've let that sit in the salt for about 24 48 hours it is good to go um i have used it uh, as quick as 12 hours after sitting in the salt it still has a lot of moisture in it after 12 hours but 24 to 48 hours it really dries it out well all right, and how I take my salted shrimp fishing, this is just a, a little container with a lid on it. And as you can see, I've got my salted shrimp and extra salt down in there. That way it's always just, it's constantly sitting in salt. It's keeping it dry. It's keeping, uh, keeping bacteria from growing and making the shrimp rot. So that is how I transport it when I'm fishing. All right, guys. And before I forget, I also want to mention that you can reuse that salt. It's not one and done. Um, this salt that I'm using in this video, I have used for months. I have no idea how long I've actually used it. Um, but all I do is once I get my shrimp the way I want it, I get my shrimp transfer a different container. And then I pour my salt out on a piece of cardboard and it dries within 24 or 48 hours. And then it's ready for the next batch. All right. And that is how I do my salted shrimp. And it catches everything. I've caught 
pompano, whiting, Spanish mackerel, redfish, black drum, flounder, you name it, I've caught it on the salted shrimp. I mean, everything eats it. It's, it's just as productive as fresh shrimp. So that is how I, how I do my salted shrimp. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. So until next time, I'll see you later.